how do you think the industry will develop in 2020? I expect to see existing blockchains connecting with each other. A proof of work is a perfect consensus mechanism for Bitcoin. The Chinese government, uh, the financial authorities are definitely not encouraging people to uh, possess or use cryptocurrencies. Next year, uh -huh. major cryptocurrencies like Ethereum and Cardano are planning to upgrade their systems to a proof-of-stake yeah. system. Uh -huh. Do you think that proof-of-work as a system on which cryptocurrencies are based on is destined to be replaced? It is destined to be outdated by different uh -huh. kind of uh, systems? No, not, not really. I think a uh, different consensus mechanism uh, fits different purpose. Uh, proof of work is a perfect uh, consensus mechanism for Bitcoin, which uh, mimic the gold. Bitcoin is uh, sometimes uh, called as a digital gold. And I, I still believe uh, proof of work is the best consensus for Bitcoin. Um, but with, uh, for NEO, for example, NEO is the digital asset protocol. So we need the consensus to have finality, to have a, a certainty about uh, whether transactions and whether transaction goes through or not. So we, we decided to choose a different consensus other than proof of work or proof of state, uh, stake. Uh, the consensus we used is called uh, DBFT. It's a BFT style consensus. Uh, it will provide one block finality to the blockchain. So different consensus will uh, serve different purposes. Recently, the Chinese government announced that uh, the, they are interested in embracing blockchain technology yeah. How do you think this statement from the top levels of the Chinese government is going to affect NEO and how is it going to affect the industry in general? Um, I think it's a very, it's a positive signal uh, to the industry. And the Chinese, I think the Chinese government just uh, reaffirmed that uh, the government is very pro-technology itself. Uh, although the regulators from China uh, does not encourage uh, any speculative uh, uh, business, uh, but it still um, encourage the development of technology itself, and uh, Neo is the uh, is the uh, is the protocol for digital asset, with the government promoting blockchain technology a national priority. Uh, I believe there will be um, more and more business to issue digital asset, to issue native digital asset, and uh, at the end of the day, uh, there will be new more asset can be managed by the new blockchain. So I think it's a very positive uh, signal to, the, to NEO, to the whole industry. Do you think that the recent surge in price of NEO was directly related to these statements by the Chinese government? Uh, I can't say for certainty, but I guess uh, it definitely affects the market. Thanks. And uh, there are concerns that these statements by the Chinese government are not necessarily a good thing for yeah. the crypto industry because China, as we know, it's not uh, a democratic country, so many are concerned that it could use blockchain as a way to enhance surveillance instead of giving this kind of economic freedom to people, uh -huh. which is the ideal at the basis uh -huh. of uh -huh. most cryptocurrencies. Are you not concerned that uh, the ideal behind cryptocurrencies can be mis misused by Yeah, there are, there are definitely different ideology between China and the Western world. And by uh, I think China is uh, adopting its, uh, uh, China is implementing a different kind of uh, democracy other than the Western uh, uh, definition. But uh, the government are still, we are still have uh, uh, free freedom to do business, to, to do uh, blockchain developments. Uh, so it doesn't affect our uh, business. Okay, but what about in terms of uh, projects that can be born out of China. Uh -huh. um, can actually something like Bitcoin uh -huh. really take place, uh, really become widespread in a country like China, uh -huh. where Bitcoin is about mainly financial freedom, uh, decentralization? Yeah. Do, you, do you think this kind of project can thrive in yeah. China? Uh, I think at this moment it's, it's, it's more difficult uh, to thrive in China than in many other countries because we still have uh, capital control. Uh, the Chinese Chinese yuan is not freely 
uh, interchangeable with uh, other foreign currencies. Uh, but Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are a global asset. Uh, it's not controlled by the Chinese uh, financial uh, system. So it will be difficult for the regulators in China to, to manage those uh, cryptocurrencies. So I, 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 I will not say the Chinese government, uh, the financial uh, authorities are definitely not encouraging people to uh, possess or use uh, digital uh, uh, cryptocurrencies. But the Chinese uh, central bank are inventing or building their own digital currency called a um, DCEP, Digital Currency Electronic Payment System. How do you think the industry will develop in 2020? What are your expectations? Uh, I expect to see existing blockchains connecting with each other. Currently, different blockchains are, se they are separated. They, they are, there's no interoperability between major blockchains. I, I hope we will see major blockchains can be connected uh, next year. For example, which ones? For example, if Ethereum can connect with Bitcoin, can connect with NEO, then the assets can flow uh, between each other, and then there will be more uh, defined business models to be invented. So that's a good thing for, for every business. And also if they can also connect to ontology, the digital identity solution, then we will probably have a better uh, regulatory framework ready for the business, uh, for the blockchain business. Do you think this uh, is not a exceedingly <laughs> ambitious target for, to, for 2020? This interconnection between major blockchain, uh -huh. is it something that can, can happen in such a short time period? I don't think we will have the, we, we will see everything connected in 2020. Uh, it's just a uh, one year time, uh, but we will start to see some blockchains connecting to each other. NEO can be used to build smart contracts yes. and it aims to create the next generation internet. That's mm -hmm. your slogan basically. Yeah. Uh -huh. What is the competitive advantage of NEO compared to Ethereum? Um, NEO, will, will, NEO itself will not, be the, will not be the next generation internet. NEO will be part of the next generation internet. It's uh, one of the building blocks. Uh, currently, NEO is working with Ontology and other uh, major blockchains that signed NDA with us. So we are working on the interoperability protocol. So NEO will be, the, will, be in, will be in the digital asset scope. Ontology will be the digital identity solution. And there will be distributed storage solutions. All these uh, blockchains will be linked together to become part of the next generation internet and that's also the comparative uh, advantage okay so we don't want to be everything one blockchain for everything we just uh, want to focus uh, the area that we are uh, appetized appetized in okay so neo is kind of building something bigger than itself yes i see yeah thank, thank you. you very much thanks a lot it's a good interview yeah coin telegraph like subscribe and hodl